I'm Barbara and I'm one of the Wine and Spirits Education Specialists here at Barry Brothers & Rudge and it's my job to teach consumers and get them excited about all of the wonderful wines and spirits that we have on offer here. So just take a quick look, double check that the wine isn't cloudy and the next thing we're going to do is take just a very tentative sniff of the wine. I always say it's the sniff that you give the milk in the morning before you pour it on the cornflakes, just to check that there's nothing wrong with the wine. The next thing we want to do is swirl the wine. Now there's two ways of doing this. Uh, you can hold the glass in mid-air and swirl just like that. Or if you're wearing white, swirl it around like that. We're trying to get oxygen into the wine and we're trying to release as many aromas as possible from the wine. This will really help us understand what the wine is, what it's trying to tell us. We're going to go back and smell it again, but this time we're going to go for a really intense sniff right down into the glass. Things that you might want to think about are, is the wine really fruity? Does it jump out of the glass at you? Does it smell more of tropical fruit or perhaps more citrusy? Maybe there's something a little bit toasty in there. The final step is of course to taste the wine. Now to do this, you need to take quite a small sip. Um, we say around about a teaspoon. Doesn't sound like much, but we're going to be chewing the wine around. And you want to chew it a bit like mouthwash, so it hits all the different parts of your mouth. This will help us to work out what's going on in the glass. 